Final Cut Pro 11.1 just dropped, so in this video we're going to take a look at everything that's new. Before you update, the most important step is always backing up Final Cut Pro. To do so, you can simply go to Applications, Locate Final Cut Pro, right click on it, and then select Compress Final Cut Pro. This will create a zipped version of Final Cut Pro that you can later jump to if this version of Final Cut Pro happens to break a current project. The first feature that comes to Final Cut Pro 11.1 is a big one. We finally have adjustment layers, aka adjustment clips directly inside of Final Cut Pro without any third party developers. Unlike previous adjustment layers that you would install and use via the titles inspector, so I'll go to my titles, here's my adjustment layer, I have my adjustment plus plugin. Instead, to add an adjustment clip, you'll need to go up to edit, then down to add adjustment clip. But my favorite part about this is we now have a dedicated keyboard shortcut of option A. And just like that, we have this adjustment clip. For those of you that don't know what an adjustment clip does, essentially any effects that we apply to this adjustment clip are going to be applied to the underlying video clips. So for example, I could come over here and apply this 50s TV black and white effect and now all of these underlying clips have that exact same effect applied to them. Now we have had adjustment layers due to plugin developers for a very long time with Final Cut Pro, but by having these directly inside of Final Cut, it adds a super significant feature that I'm so insanely excited about. We can now add transitions onto our adjustment clips and of course, adjustment layers. Previously, if I were to add, say, the cross dissolve transition here on this adjustment clip, there wouldn't be any sort of nice fade between the effect to the finished product. Now, one of the biggest reasons why this is so powerful is we could go over to our transitions and let's just look up the wipes transition. I'll use the basic wipe. We can now slowly wipe on our different color grades using adjustment clips which is so tremendously helpful. Gone are the days of stacking clips on clips with different color grades to show off how you've graded a clip. You can instead just go through, create a cut in your adjustment clip with different effects applied. So I'll maybe turn this one super blue so we can really see it. Maybe this one will be super purple. And we can add these white transitions between and show off the different effects we've applied to the same clip. The next big feature that comes to Final Cut Pro is Image Playground. This has also been added into Apple Motion for my Apple Motion users out there. To use Image Playground, you just need to go up to your import button and you'll notice when I click it, it no longer immediately opens the import window, but it also has this option for Image Playground. You can also get there with Option Shift P. Image Playground is very early in its beta stages, but you can quickly use one of these suggestions it's created. So maybe we need to generate a scene of a lighthouse and we'll go ahead and let it do just that. Maybe I want a forest. We can add that to the lighthouse and now we have this great new scene. You can go through the different versions that it has generated and when you're happy, you can go ahead and press done. Now you'll see that that's been added into my browser and I can just drag that down just like any other photo to use in my videos. Another great feature coming to 11.1 is the magnetic mask receives some improvements. These are both stability improvements, performance improvements, and some quality of life updates. So like always, you could push Control Command M to add a magnetic mask. And now with the magnetic mask, I can of course make a really quick selection here. Then from there we can analyze and you'll just see how fast this is. Now, something you'll notice with the magnetic mask is it, of course, automatically opens the magnetic mask editor on this specific clip, and that just shows us the different keyframes we've created along with our roto. But a handy quality of life update is that we can come up here to our magnetic mask, and if I delete it, it will automatically close the magnetic mask editor down here in my timeline. Another great quality of life improvement is if we need to see the magnetic mask editor, I can push Control, Option, and M now, and that is going to open it up. So that keyboard shortcut was just recently added 
in 11.1. Another great new feature that was added is the Quantic Room Simulator audio effect. You can locate the new effect here in the Spaces category under Quantic Room Simulator. I'll just apply this onto this audio and we can push play. Consider subscribing to help me reach 100,000 subscribers before the end of the year. From there, I can open up the Quantic Room Simulator, and here in the top left, we can choose from one of these various presets. Let's go ahead and go to Large Rooms, and I'll select Alpine Thunderstorm. Consider subscribing to help me reach 100,000 subscribers before the end of the year. We could also try out one of these small rooms. Maybe we'll try Alcove. Consider subscribing to help me reach 100,000 subscribers before the end of the year. Just like we could rename video effects inside of Final Cut Pro 11, here in 11.1, .1, we can also rename audio effects. Another awesome quality of life update is inside of a multicam, you can now reveal the source clip by selecting it and pressing Shift F and that will show up properly here in the browser. And one of the last new features added to Final Cut Pro is the ability to press M to add a marker, and we can now click and drag that marker here directly on this clip to a new position. This is a feature I have wanted for so long. I'm so glad it's finally here. You can also remove a marker by simply clicking and dragging it off of that clip. Now, something to note is when you add a marker, it has to stay on the original clip it was added to. I can't drag this marker over to another clip. So those are the new features that have been added, but there's also been an enormous amount of fixes added to Final Cut Pro. I personally haven't experienced many of these issues, but I'm going to quickly read off this list. So if you happen to hear something that you've been struggling with, just know it's been addressed. Firstly, it fixes an issue where navigating through text fields in list view with the keyboard was blocked by group headers. It improves reliability when enabling transform tools with a keyboard shortcut while in a dual display layout. It improves reliability when batch exporting compound clips that contain magnetic masks. It adds support for using transcribed to captions with a single audio roll component. There's improved stability when dragging a library item to a text text editor to generate an FCP XML. They've improved reliability when upgrading a library that contains 100 frame per second clips. It improves reliability when sharing a project that includes Airy ProRes MXF Media. They've fixed an issue that prevented a LUT from automatically being applied when importing Airy Raw MXF clips. They've improved performance when applying smooth slow-mo to ProRes 444 files with an alpha channel on Mac models with M1. They fixed an issue that caused audio to go out of sync when adding 25 frames per second clips to a 23.98 frame per second timeline. They fixed an issue that could cause sound to slip out of sync when detaching audio from a clip with a J-cut and a through edit. They fixed an issue that caused an MP3 or AAC audio file to have a truncated audio waveform after export. They fixed an issue that caused black frames to be displayed when playing HEVC clips from a red camera. They also fixed an issue that prevented the browser from automatically scrolling to an active cell in list view. And finally, they fixed an issue that caused the selected browser clips to change when show hidden clip was enabled. If you enjoyed this video, then I have a good feeling you might also like this video where I show you a plugin that massively improves the magnetic mask inside of Final Cut Pro.